famous American actor Willem Dafoe often tries on the roles of villains, in particular, evil geniuses from comics. So, he embodied the image of the Green Goblin in Spider-Man by Sam Raimi in 2002. However, long before that moment, Dafoe was apparently negotiating to play the Joker in the 1989 Tim Burton film. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter last year, the famous actor said that screenwriter Sam Hamm spoke to him about the role, but Willie never received an official offer. Then Jack Nicholson became the Joker. Before Jack Nicholson got the role of the Joker in the 1989 Tim Burton film, Willem Dafoe also auditioned for the role of Clown Prince of the Underworld, but the actor's auditions failed. The owner of the rubber face of Willem Dafoe is well known to comic book fans for the role of the Green Goblin in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. It is enough to pay attention to Willem's facial features in order to easily imagine him in the role of the Joker, and with a minimal amount of makeup. Among comic book fans, it is often believed that Defoe could well have become the best incarnation of Nemesis Batman in the cinema. Yes, just give this guy lipstick and put it in the frame. A person with one of the most frightening smiles in Hollywood must try himself in the role of the Joker. Moreover, there were enough crazy people in Defoe's career, just remember the Green Goblin in Spider-Man, where Willem was very good, or the sullen killer Joplin from the Grand Budapest Hotel. He even voiced the Death God Ryuk in the adaptation of Death Note for Netflix. Defoe is just born to play the Joker. By the way, it was not me who said it, but the 1989 Batman screenwriter Sam Hamm. Prior to Nicholson's agreement, Willem was the main contender for the role. He began his career in cinema with the film The Gates of Paradise, but in the process of editing his character was cut out. The most famous films with the participation of the actor are Platoon by Oliver Stone, The English Patient by Anthony Mangella, Saints from the Boondock and The Scandalous Antichrist by Lars von Trier, in which Willem Dafoe brilliantly played the main role. In general, in the filmography of the artist there are not many tapes in which his character is awarded the first win. However, even in the second and third roles Dafoe manages to demonstrate a remarkable acting talent.